Hello Taurus, this is your reading for the 15th through the 16th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. We have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay? There's some differences here um, with you and someone else. Maybe you guys just have some different beliefs or this person could um, really be a different, um, you know, have a different faith than you, different beliefs in general. And then we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Hmm. Maybe that is what has caused a rift or will cause a rift between the two of you is that you just cannot get on the same accord here. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. Taurus. What's going on for Taurus today? What's going on for Taurus today? The Wheel of Fortune here. Changes. Changes are coming. Um, you know, this, this is all about a karmic cycle. You know, whatever we're putting into this, this life, whatever we're doing, you know, we, it comes back around, basically. So, some changes are ensuing currently, okay? Then we have the Nine of Wands here. Hmm. Feeling tired. Feeling like you've been through a battle. Not really sure if you can continue with this. Not sure if you can continue fighting with someone. Um, you know, fighting for what you believe even. Or either continuing with the relationship even. You know, that sort of thing. Some of you guys are just really tired. Some of you have been holding fast to what you believe in. And, and thinking maybe, just maybe, you know... Um, Maybe I can make a change. You know, have have I been doing the right thing? You know, am I doing the right thing? Then we have the star. Following your path. Following your destiny. Hmm. I think a lot of you are in a moment of pause because there, there's something that has shifted here, for sure, that has changed in you. And I feel like where you once felt that you were done with something, that it was over, now you're kind of feeling like, you know, maybe this is the path I'm supposed to be on. Maybe this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe this is who I'm supposed to be with. Hmm. The Knight of Swords. Aries got these cards right here, um, the Star and the Knight of Swords right together. I definitely feel like, you know, in following your path, there is someone else that feels like you are their destiny, Aquarius individual. They feel like you guys are their destiny. And this is what they are constantly thinking about. It's like if, if they try to get away from it, like thinking about it, they're always brought back to the fact that, um, to the thought that you guys are the one. Or this is meant to be. Did I give up too easily? And you guys as well. Did I give up too easily here? Hmm. Thinking about working with someone, compromising on things that um, you probably were, were not budging on before. But this is definitely thinking about, you know, making some changes. Compromising with people that you feel like um, you should. If, if somebody you feel like is the one, then you definitely, you know, are considering working with this person again. You know, doing whatever it takes. To move on, to go on from here. Three of Wands. Hmm. Maybe an Aries individual um, that you guys are thinking about working with. Um, maybe have Capricorn, Aquarius in their chart. But I feel that this person's probably waiting on you guys. They're waiting on you. 
because I'm getting the like the chills all over my body that this person already knows who you guys are. They know who you are already. They're waiting on you to wake up. Is what I'm hearing here. Okay. Hmm. They have this card as well, the Empress. There is definitely a new beginning to be had here. There is growth here. Um, I feel like this person is definitely someone that you guys see as the one. Um, and they see you as the one as well. Like, I feel like this energy is just shared. It may be an Aries that you guys are dealing with here. Um, but they feel like you're the one as well. They feel like you are their destiny, that you guys belong together. Hmm. Wow. That's just it. With judgment being there, somebody knows. Somebody knows here. If both of you don't know, I would be surprised. I would be surprised because there is definitely a knowing here. A decision here. Somebody is like following their calling. Okay, so whoever was the one that like left this situation um, was in denial. I'm going to say denial. Um, I feel like that person's waking up. The other person already knew. They already knew. Okay, I do see action at some point being taken here because I get that one, one of you, one of you, will step forward, I feel, in the next few months and discuss this new start, this new beginning, what you guys mean to each other. Somebody's just waiting here, though. They're waiting, kind of reflecting on the past, making plans for the future. Um, yeah. This person, this Three of Wands person, that I feel like you guys are looking at. I, I feel that. Um, they're preparing. They're not really doing anything right now. But this person is preparing to move on. Um, I don't know if, you know, at one point one of you left to, you know, explore your options or whatever. But um, somebody's definitely open to um, new opportunities here. So whatever whatever that means for you guys, okay. Let's see what the <clears throat> what the influence is here. What is the influence for Taurus? Huh, five of swords. Somebody's decided that they want to reunite. They know what they want in their heart. They want to reunite. They want to be happy with you. But we have three threes here. Okay. I feel like whoever was a person that stepped out, there probably was a three-party relationship going on here. Um, but I don't think that's any longer. I think this person has left that, that behind. And they're wanting to fight for this connection. They're wanting to. Energetically, I feel it. Whether or not they have spoken this to you or you like, yeah, right, or you're the one that really wants to reach out and you were the one that had the third party, then you guys, I feel, um, are really wanting to fight for this connection because you now know who this individual is. Strongly Aries, um, Capricorn, maybe Taurus like you, um, Libra energy, and Scorpios in their chart. Um, maybe Aquarius is here, Cancer, Sagittarius energy as well. But definitely somebody is wanting to, they, they're leaving that energy of needing someone else to ride their coattails like a third party or having that attention. They're leaving that behind. Energetically, they, they're done with that. They're done with that. And they're wanting to fight for this connection, really wanting to say something, to speak on this, okay? 
So let's see what the outcome is here. Hmm. Somebody holding true to who they are, um, comfortable with who they are, what they believe in. And you guys, I see you going towards your happiness. I see you going towards your happiness for sure. And I feel like your happiness is, is you know, being with this person. But right now, I see you guys deciding to go a separate way. I see you guys deciding to go a separate way honestly so I'm feeling like this individual that you guys are dealing with are the ones that's willing energetically to fight for this because they know exactly who you guys are but I don't know if you feel like this can happen is a thing I'm feeling like you guys are struggling with the decision here you're struggling because I think you you know exactly who this person is. Maybe you think it's too late. Maybe you think too much has happened or too much has passed or or what have you. But um, this is like a sad love story here. Okay, let's see. Study and learning. Thank you, angels, for allowing me to see that every day is a learning day. Be. I feel like this is for you guys. To be open to if if you don't um, believe that things can change, people can change. Um, if you don't believe that you can change that or you can change your perspective, then this is for you guys to really kind of dig deep. If you feel like you're just kind of holding on to things because it's what you're used to, then this is a need for you to open up. Open up and, and be willing to, you know, take in some, some different knowledge, um, you know, just to kind of like open yourself up to other possibilities, come out of your comfort zone. But I definitely see you guys, you know, being happy. I see you being happy. I see you being happy here. It's just, will you be happy, you know, by yourself? or with this individual that is a question all right guys so that's what i have for you and i will be speaking with you guys soon oh now leo's here